The old way of running an OnlyFans management agency simply doesn't work. Now, when I say old way, I just kind of mean the way that most people go into OnlyFans management with a mindset of, because OnlyFans management is obviously still new. Um, so as it's still new, there's not really an old way, but lots of people go into it with the wrong mindset and they're doing the wrong things to build the OnlyFans agency. Now, as an OnlyFans management agency, it's not about the number of models you sign. So many people are obsessed with the amount of models that you're working with, the amount of clients that you're managing, all of these sort of things, which are just vanity metrics. What's actually important is the quality and the caliber of OnlyFans models that you are working with. We need to understand is that these are partnerships, not retainers. So we're not signing these clients for 2,000 a month, 4,000 a month. We're not doing anything like that. What we are doing is we're partnering with these OnlyFans models, helping them grow their OnlyFans business, and we're taking a percentage in exchange for the value that we provide. Typically, that percentage is around about 50% rev share. So we take 50% of the earnings in exchange for doing the promotion and management of the OnlyFans model account. Simply going out there and finding a bunch of OnlyFans models to sign by running ads, so running these ad campaigns to get a bunch of OnlyFans model leads or sending out a bunch of cold DMs does not work because you are going to end up with signing a ton of OnlyFans models who are unqualified and aren't going to help you make money. You're going to sign a bunch of OnlyFans models which are going to be doing around about 1,000 to 3,000 a month. You're going to be working with all of these different model accounts. You're going to have a ton of stress managing all these accounts. You're not going to be able to deliver results. You're never truly going to be satisfied within your business. If you can't deliver results, you're never going to be satisfied with your business. You're always just going to be churning through clients, dealing with headaches nonstop. So the issue comes with signing a bunch of of models who have not been qualified, have not been vetted, because in the end of the day, you are partnering with them. Now, the way that we go about fixing this is through two things. The first thing is we create sales assets. We create these sales assets that make your ideal OnlyFans models flood your DMs. So we create these sales assets in order to build trust and authority around the models that we're targeting. And then we can then build this trust and authority and get them to partner with us. So they see the value in partnering with our OnlyFans management agency. And it's up to us as an OnlyFans management agency to build these packaged assets that which we can send to OnlyFans models so they can see the value that we provide. Okay, and we're going to go into exactly what these type of sales assets are. And number two is building a model recruitment system that doesn't rely on getting a ton of unqualified OnlyFans models but instead targets high quality OnlyFans models that we can partner with and we can help them grow, okay? So when it comes to creating sales assets, there's a couple of things you need to, that you need to understand. So the first thing is your offer that you're going out into the market with. You cannot go out into the market saying, we help OnlyFans models grow uh, their OnlyFans account. Or we help OnlyFans models make more money. That offer is way too generic, okay? It's not going to be an interesting offer. If a model sees a message come through saying, hey, we're an OnlyFans agency and we can help you make more money, they're just instantly going to ignore it. Because why wouldn't you? It's just a spammy message that you're receiving that has got no real tangibility to it. You don't really know who's sending it. You've got no clue what they're about. And you just kind of just put it to the side. However, if you build a detailed, thorough offer that you can present to the OnlyFans model and it becomes a no-brainer to the OnlyFans model, then it's an absolute game changer for your OnlyFans ANC. Now, to do that, you need clarity on who you're helping them, who you're helping, and what exactly you're helping them with, okay? Now, I like to compare this to um, repetitions on a circuit. Now, when it comes to scaling your OnlyFans agency, you can view it as doing repetitions on a, on a racing circuit. As you do more repetitions on this ra racing circuit, what happens is that you get more successful each time you complete it. This is where the speed of iteration comes through, okay? Now, your speed of iteration, so the speed of development of your OnlyFans agency is solely reliant on this one thing which is your initial offer. So the offer can be seen as being at the start of the racing track, okay? Without the offer, 
the issues that come along with that is that you struggle to find these high quality OnlyFans models. As a result, you're not really very clear about who you're working with. You're not very clear about how you, how you can help them. So it ends up you're in a slow racing car going around the circuit and it takes twice as long, if not, you know, a hundred times as long to go and do one iteration of this racing circuit. Purely because you just started off with a bad offer to the OnlyFans models, okay? So with a bad offer, you're going to struggle finding high quality OnlyFans models. When you struggle finding high quality OnlyFans models, you're going to struggle to get them subscribers. And then when you struggle um, getting them subscribers, you're going to struggle to manage the OnlyFans account. Okay, so it all starts off from the offer and finding high quality OnlyFans models. Now, the components are of a bad offer are essentially not differentiating yourself from the competition. You can end up commoditizing yourself. And when you commoditize yourself, you end up p competing based on price. Um, you're not gonna be demonstrating expertise in a particular field. So why would they wanna work with you as opposed to someone else? And then the third reason is that your offer doesn't appeal to anyone because it's boring. Okay, if your offer doesn't, if you try and make your offer appeal to everyone, then it's gonna end up appealing to no one. So this is where the idea of being very niched in the type of OnlyFans models that you help comes in handy. And these are a couple of the uh, niches that you can target. MILFs, eGirl, luxury models, BBW, all sorts of different niches out there of OnlyFans models that you can target. There's over 2 million OnlyFans creators on the platform with thousands joining every single day and thousands upon tens of thousands of different niches, okay? So you can target one of these niches and you can be making millions from just one of these niches within the OnlyFans model um, spectrum, okay? So when it comes to creating offer, you need to make sure that it resonates with your desired OnlyFans models. So instead of we help OnlyFans models, you can say we help luxury OnlyFans models who aren't getting the attention they deserve, generate 20,000 a month in 60 days with our custom hyper flywheel system. Now it appeals so much more than that original offer of we help OnlyFans models make more money or we manage OnlyFans models because it calls out the specific model by being niche specific, luxury OnlyFans models. It states the specific problem that the model is experiencing. So you need to remember all of these different models have a constant problem on their mind that is related directly to their niche, okay? So we directly relate it to their niche. So they're struggling to get subscribers in the luxury OnlyFans model niche. You find this out through research. Uh, three, it mentions a clear measurable result that's being delivered to so $20,000 a month in 60 days. Clear, direct, and measurable. And then introduces a mystery element. So a hyper flywheel system is a mystery element that they hear, sounds interesting, doesn't sound boring, and it sounds like they're interesting, they, they, they're curious about what it could be, okay? So this offer is so much more appealing than the first offer, and it's foundational when it comes to doing your OnlyFans management agency the right way, because by building this offer, you're gonna be able to target these high quality OnlyFans models, and you're gonna be able to be a specialist rather than a generalist as a whole. Okay. Now, when you when you're crafting um, when you start crafting offers the above uh, with the above elements, you'll notice that a few things happen. It will take you less time to sign your first model. Sales calls will become easier because your service is speaking specifically to them. And the more that you speak to a specific person and a specific problems, the more it will appeal to them and create strong desire. You will get more qualified models wanting to work with your agency. Your service delivery will become more streamlined as you'll work with one type of model. The agency will scale a lot smoother because you'll produce better results for your clients, uh, which means better case studies, higher ref share, and less model churn. And as a result of the additional clarity, you will have better insight into qualifying models for your agency, okay? So that's the offer covered, okay, which is the first crucial building block that you need to have in place if you want to build your OnlyFans management ANC the right way as opposed to the wrong way of building an OnlyFans management ANC that just focuses on getting as many models as possible, churning through tons of models and not delivering a good quality service and making minimal amount of money as opposed to making lots more money working with more targeted high quality OnlyFans models, okay? Now, when it comes to sales assets, sales assets 
are packaged assets that you can send out to OnlyFans models en masse that deliver trust and rapport and value, okay? So sales assets as, such as having a website that demonstrates proof of results and authority in the targeted sub-niche with a strong call to action. Or having an agency Instagram that reflects trust and authority to your ideal model uh, viewing your page, okay? So it's about building these online assets that when models look at, they see that you are targeted towards their specific niche and that you do understand the problems that they're experiencing directly to them and that you've developed a solution to help them with their specific problem, okay? Now, when it comes to sales assets, you also have a few other things. So we have these sales assets, which you can also call client attraction assets, model attraction assets, and they're used to build rapport, trust, and reciprocity. So by delivering value, you're kicking the law of reciprocity. They're going to be encouraged to deliver value back, okay? So this is an example of an OnlyFans audit template. Now, essentially, this is an 86-point audit that we basically send out to models before they work with our ANC. So already we're giving them value. We're going through all the OnlyFans account, all the promotional strategies. We're doing a thorough audit on absolutely everything. And then we're sending it to them in a package format so they can see exactly what they need to be doing to make more money. And perhaps they implement a few of the things, they start making more money, and then they're gonna be even more encouraged and incentivized to work with us. Now, not only does the fact that they implemented, um, that they've implemented some of the strategies that we're giving them show that they're a high quality OnlyFans model because they're hardworking and they're willing to grow their OnlyFans account. They're willing to put effort in to grow it. But as well as that, it also builds that reciprocity. So they get some value from it and they want to give some value back. So you can build these assets. Now it doesn't have to be an 86 point Excel sheet audit like we use at MyNC, for example. You can also upgrade like we've done on MyNC as well to a case study. So we have a case study walking through exactly what we did to grow a model account who's in the exact same sub niche as another OnlyFans model. Now that's a very powerful asset. So when we have a case study built, we can then send it over to other OnlyFans models so they can see exactly what they need to do in order to grow the OnlyFans account as they, they can see that we implemented those exact strategies on another model who's in the exact same position and as they were experiencing the exact same problems and then achieved this specific outcome. Um, but as well as that, you can also do uh, video audits, you can build um, assets that help them access Telegram groups, which offer retweets for retweets on, on Twitter. There's all sorts of different assets that you can package, but the main thing is that I need to demonstrate authority so you understand the OnlyFans, uh, how to help OnlyFans models. And the second thing is that it needs to deliver quick wins and value. So it needs to actually deliver value to the models that you're reaching out to. And this is what's gonna allow you to sign those high quality OnlyFans models. You can't reach out to these high quality OnlyFans models, these titans within the space, or even models just doing you know 20,000 a month. You can't just reach out to them saying, hey, I'd love to manage your OnlyFans account. They're just not going to respond to it. Okay, the way that you reach out and sign these high quality models who are doing 10K, 20K, 30K, 40K a month, the way that you sign them is by being very professional, having a bunch of sales assets built and delivering that trust, rapport and value to them, which you do through leveraging these sales assets. Now, we combine these sales assets with, you know, a cold DM strategy. So we have DM that reflect our offer that we're sending out to a particular sub niche that we're tracking the exact metrics that or the exact um, output that we're receiving from messaging these models. So we can see exactly the models were messaged, the, the exact percentage of models that are saying yes to our leads or basically our client attraction asset that we're offering them. Um, as well as that, we can see the amount of of models that are booking in calls, the amount of models that we're closing. Uh, you can track it all through this um, outreach sheet, okay? So when you combine these sales attraction assets with a thorough model recruitment strategy, then what you actually have is a repeatable system to predictably sign these high quality only fan models en masse. So, the main point that I want you to get from this video is very simply the fact that it's not about the amount of models that you're signing. Get that out of your head. It's about the quality of models that you're signing 
And the way that you go about signing these high quality models is by having a detailed offer with a detailed or pre-built sales attraction, ac attraction assets that deliver value, that build trust and build rapport en masse, okay? And as well as that, you can implement follow-up systems. So when they do say, yes, I want this, um, this client attraction asset, you can then uh, follow them up on SMS, follow them up on email, which is going to basically get them to book in a call. And then from that call, it's a very easy close because we're closing them on a percentage rev share of their account. Okay, so implementing these systems is what has allowed us to achieve mind blowing results for not just myself with my ANC, we're number three on or number two on Google for UK only fans ANC. Uh, all the calls we have booked from this model recruitment system, this was back in 2022, um, as well as my own personal ANC when we're managing accounts doing 30,000 a month, 80,000 a month, um, 100,000, all these different accounts. Um, but as well as that for my students as well, where we have so many different case studies of JP, for example, joining, signing his first Only, OnlyFans model, a 50-50 rev share split, using the exact strategy that I've laid out inside this video. Then, um, what is it, 90 days after, able to get girls up to 50k a month consistently, scaling his operation. Ash, scaled his ever mainly to 10k a month, expecting to hit 20k a month. Ryan joined two months, 13K a month. Vic scaled his ANC to $25,000 a month from just one model. So this is what I'm talking about when I say that it's not about the amount of models that you're working with because Vic signed one model and from this one model is making $25,000 a month. And in so many other case studies as well, it just goes on and goes on. And this is an old sheet as well. So we've got so many different new ones um, that you can or a new case study that you can check out at OnlyFans Millions on Instagram, okay? So if this is interesting to you, if you want to get started installing our pre-built OnlyFans ANC systems that I'm using at my OnlyFans ANC to predictably sign high-quality OnlyFans models, onboard them professionally, um, promote them and get them subscribers consistently, and manage their account to basically turn the OnlyFans models accounts into your own personal ATM machines, then book on a call down below where you can join our consulting program, get one-on-one -on -one consulting from myself, where I show you exactly how to implement the systems that we're running at my ANC. And then not only that, but as well as that, we give you access to a ton of resources that help you get started uh, along with pre-built automated systems that you can install to basically build your OnlyFans ANC on autopilot. So if that sounds great to you, then book on a call down below to get started.